Looks like I, I forgot to take something off of this. It's that repeat sign right there. So, just in case you don't know how to do it, or maybe you forgot, I'll show you this real quick. So make sure you come up here to the upper left of the window, click on that panel if it's not already on. And right here, turn that off. So now that's what we want. So no repeats this time because this is plenty long. Plenty long. So play it at whatever speed works for you. Start whatever speed works out. I think just having a goal of playing it all at 120 is totally fine. But that being said, let's play it at uh, 60 beats per minute first. And then we'll play it at the 120. So here we go. I'm going to play along with the track this time. It's the wrong chord, and I think this needs to turn up a little bit. Alright, let's take that from the top. So when I'm listening to this, once you hit start, I'm going to count it off like this. Maybe this will help you get a better grasp of what's happening here. Ready? One and a two and a three and a four and a one, a two and three, a four and one, a two and three, a four and one, a two and three, a and one. A two and three, a four and one, a and three, a and one, a two and three, a four and one, a and three, a and one, a two and three, a four and one, a and three, a and one, a two and three, a four and one, a and three. A uh, and one, a uh, two and three, a uh, four and one, a uh, and three, a uh, and one, a uh, two and three, a uh, four and one, a uh, and three, a uh, and one, a uh, two and three, a uh, four and one, a uh, and three, a uh, and done. Very good idea if you also practice counting out loud like I just demonstrated. All right, here we go. Two and a three and a four and a one, a two and three, a four and one, a two and three, a four and one, a and three, a and one, a two and three, a four and one, two and three, one, two and three, one, a two and three, a four and one, a and a and a two and three, a four and. Just in case you want to try it a bit higher, I'll demonstrate it at 160 as well. Here we go. One, two, three, and four, and a one, a two, and three, and four, and So totally optional if you want to go beyond 120, but just focusing on a good solid 120, that's the goal. So only push yourself if you feel like the 120 is too easy. Okay, this guy, this number two. So yeah, counting fours while the triplet's going, that's the goal here, as I will demonstrate in just a moment. Starting at 60. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Final chord.
more than that. One and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So yeah, just remember when you're working on the, the solo thing, try moving notes around if you need to. Um, let me pull up what you sent again last night. So something you can do. Like with the stuff over here, um, like especially on this fourth bar, fourth well, fourth bar of those four. So you can just kind of experiment this way by, you know, putting the cursor on whatever it is you're you want to experiment with. Like hold down the Alt key, and then you can use arrows to move it up and down. So you can do stuff like that. You know, you just kind of move it wherever you want. Now here, it's got that red negative two. Oh, uh, that's because you can't move that note up to that string. Just that octave's impossible there. So just be aware of that. But yeah, that's some stuff you can do there. Um, even like things over here, like maybe even do, well, no, that's just silly. But uh, maybe do that instead on that one. That could work because Maybe that works a little bit more easily for you. Um, but yeah, use the Alt key and the arrows, just up and down, and that'll work. So if you do left to right, it's not going to do anything, but up and down, that will. So little trick there with Guitar Pro to help you out. And any questions, let me know. I will see you again next week.